All right, three ingredients, like I mentioned. We're gonna take this off. We're gonna pour this right on in here. So we're gonna just pour. All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys the easiest, literally the easiest way to make weed killer that will work and that is safe for every organism and or pet outside. I'm gonna tell you this is the easiest way to go about making your weed killer because all this stuff that they sell over the counter is bad news, guys. I'm telling you, you guys already know this. This is why I decided to make the DIY channel the way it is, so I can help you guys. Now, three simple ingredients. Vinegar, Dawn dish detergent. You could probably even get something from the dollar store. So this is what I have. And just plain salt. Three ingredients is all you need to make this, and it will work. Now, I sprayed yesterday. I'm gonna take you over here and I'm gonna show you just some of the killing effects that it already has done. It's crazy. But I'm gonna show you how to make this really quick. It's super easy, cheap, and you know for a fact that it's gonna work and you're gonna not kill your pups or your cats or whatever you got outside, chickens, whatever. Now, if they decide to eat it, all they're basically eating is vinegar and soap, and soap will just give them diarrhea. So if they do it, it's on them. Keep them outside. All right. I'm gonna show you how to make this really quick and bring the camera a little closer. I'm gonna show you the ingredients. You're gonna need a sprayer. If you don't have one, that's the other option I guess you'll have. So technically four things. Now, I will leave links to everything down below. You can get to Amazon. I got this at Amazon. I've had it three years. I've sprayed my weeds and let me tell you what, it's great. All right, I am gonna tell you the ingredients again while we're doing this. One gallon of vinegar. Just a little bit of this. Nothing is gonna be exact now you can make this exact probably a tablespoon of this i'm just going to squirt what i think deserves to be in this jug then they say a cup of salt now i've already used this yesterday so i used about half i think so i'm going to just pour in kind of what i think so let's go ahead and make this we're just going to put the vinegar in now i suggest that you make sure when you're doing this that you uh don't splash it on yourself because yesterday i got a little crazy a little wild and crazy and I splashed vinegar all over myself. I don't mind the smell of it, but my wife on the other hand, not a big fan. I'm gonna go ahead and put my Dawn in. I'm just gonna squirt it to whatever I think. Yeah, that's pr probably good. Like I said, no big issue if it's too much or not enough. And I'm just gonna pour this into what I think uh, it should take. You know, cut half a cup to a cup. I think they recommend a cup, so. I think that might be good. A little bit more ain't hurt. All right. And then we're gonna put the pumper, probably a name for it, primer, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna put it on and we're gonna just screw it down and pump this thing up. Make sure you've got a good seal. It's also important to note here that you need to make sure that you shake it up after you prime it so everything is mixed. All right, so this is our fire pit. You see, I started spraying this. So I wanna show you guys, let me zoom out, what it's gonna look like after I spray all the grass. Now I sprayed obviously right through here. I'm gonna finish spraying this. So we'll see how long it takes. Today is Monday. We'll see what it takes. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this real quick and then we'll check back in with you. And as you can see, it's clearly safe for dogs because you see there's my dog. Just waiting to get over here and see what I'm doing. And I've got the whole pad now sprayed. So, yeah, we'll check back with you shortly. You can see, I'm gonna leave it just like it is. We'll see how many days it takes and how long what it looks like when it's all said and done. Now, obviously, I'll probably weed it again to get, you know, the dead grass off there. But that should be it for the whole entire year. Okay, before we start, I want to show you, see where it's dark and then some green and such. This is kind of where I already went ahead and killed some of it. All right, we're gonna start right here and we're gonna spray. So let's do it. All right, so all you gotta do right here. We're gonna make the stream a little bit more. And good thing is, see these good plants right here? Well, I don't have to really worry about too much them dying because 
I'm not spraying them and the overspray won't get it. So let's go ahead and get this. And we'll check back in a couple days and I'll let you see how it how it fares. So we're gonna look back at this one here. You'll see that plant right there. So we're gonna spray this one and uh, again, and you guys will see what I'm talking about. You can see I got all kinds of weeds here. So we'll just give it a little spray down. It'll seep in the ground. And we'll use this one as a reference point also. Now this is a big old weed you can see. So we'll go ahead and spray it right there at the base. Let it let even spray the whole thing. All right, we will check back in with you with this one. And I'll show you a couple days. All right, so this is your homemade recipe, guys. So much more convenient price is, I mean, I made two gallons for what, um, I already had the soap on hand, which you probably do too. I don't think you have to use Dawn, but I mean, I have it, that's what I have, so that's what I used. So all together, probably for two gallons, which it took me to do all my yard, cost me right at about 10 bucks. And that's, you know, without the sprayer, because I already had the sprayer, obviously. So, you know, that was another little cost, but it is what it is. I had to get sprayer at one time, another. Once you got it, you got the, you know, you got it. So one thing I didn't tell you is after you make your solution, you need to shake it up. Because if you don't, all the salt's gonna be at the bottom. And, you know, that is one of the main ingredients of it, obviously, other than the vinegar and you want to get close to the base of whatever you're trying to kill. And if you really want to kill it quick, it's best to spray it on the leaves also. So I will come back here, guys, probably, I don't know, whenever it dies, a couple of weeks or so, you guys will see. It takes about, I don't know, anywhere from three to five days, seven days. And if you get a little bit of rain after you put the stuff in the ground, that only intensifies and helps it, you know, work better to me. At least in my opinion it does so like i said this will definitely keep your animals safe you safe your kids safe you got a little crawling around kids you know little rugrats that are on the ground in your yard or whatever you don't worry about it because this will definitely keep them from getting any roundup on them or whatever else and plus it's way safer anyway like i said if they eat or lick the animals or humans if they lick or they eat the um, solution all they're going to get is diarrhea at least, I'm not a doctor, but that's what I think. So, like I said, one gallon of vinegar, half to a, one cup of salt, Dawn dish detergent. Shake it up in a, in a sprayer, and then go to town, guys. I like to do it personally on an overcast day like it is today. Not a lot of sun out, so it actually seeps in the ground without drying quick. It actually will go into the plant and then kill it dead. So that's what... I like to do you can do it however you want you're gonna do it anyway make sure you don't do it on a day that is gonna rain let it sit there for a few you know a couple hours and then once it soaks in there and that rain hits it boom it's game over or you can spray it maybe if you want to do it with your hose but anyway if you guys are interested in doing homemade anything i have got if you got any warts or any skin tags i have a video it's going to come up right here you click on that video i will see you in there i'll show you exactly how to take away warts naturally so you don't have to go to that drug dealing doctor if you like what you see like and subscribe god bless i'll see you guys back here for another video showing you what it did catch you on the next one have a great day